In this video, I will show you how to use Trainual. So Trainual is a tool that will help you with the hiring process and actually training your employees. And on top of that, it has more features, which we can see right here. So it helps you with documentation. So you can see they have SOPs, templates, a knowledge base, policies, and a wiki. Then they have the training. So this helps you save time and resources on training. So you can just set up onboarding once and then it's just set up forever, basically. Then you can use it for your operations in order to streamline operations across your business so it does automations for you and then it helps you with accountability so you can track and test employees you can report on the progress you get e-signatures and a bunch more tools and in this video I'll kind of show you the features of Trainual and how you can use it if you are growing your business so right here we can see the pricing they have two plans right here a small business and a growth business plan and then also an unlimited plan if you have an even bigger bigger business than 100 employees, then you could also go for this plan right here. So it starts at $250 per month when built yearly or when built monthly, it's $300 per month for this plan and $500 for this plan. Now this is a pretty big price, however, I think it's worth it since it saves a lot of time and you can see you can try it out for free, no credit card required. Now I'll leave my link down in the description to train you and with that link you can also start your free trial. So after clicking on the link in the description, click try for free right here. And now simply going to sign up using a business email and entering your password. And when you do this, you get a seven day free trial, no credit card required. So now it will be building your account. And now you just want to enter three steps right here. And this is pretty simple. So just enter your first and last name, your mobile number, how you heard about them, and you can upload a profile picture. So then click on next right here. Now you want to customize your experience. Now this is an important step. So enter your company name. What do you do? So your job title, then what industry you are in, and finally, how many people are in your company? So you can go all the way up to over 5,000 and you can go down to 10 or fewer. I will select 11 to 24. Then for the industry, I'll just select education and I'll just enter this as well. So then go ahead and click on next. And now finally, you can customize your theme. So you can do this by uploading your company logo or you can do this later. So let's say this is my logo, then you can see it right there. So then click next. Now you can choose a color or you can also enter a custom code right here. So for this example, I'll just choose this one and click finish setup. So now there's two things you can do. You can either choose to create training. So tell new hires your story, mission, vision, values and more, or you can use Trainual to organize your business. So you can map out the roles and responsibilities that make up your team. Now you can start with either of these and you can also do them both. So if you start with this, for example, then you can just do this one later. I will start with, I want to create a training and then click let's go. So now you will be taken directly to your dashboard. Now here in the top right, you can see the first steps that you want to take once you create your account. So we have personalized our account already. Now we are going to publish our first subject then you can create your groups and invite your team. So in order to do this, you can click on any of these. So let's click first on publish your first subject. Then you can choose a template, import a document or start from scratch. I will select choose a template. Now you can choose what type of subject you want. So a brand messaging policy, the tech we use, a training starter, whatever. So if you are onboarding something like this, the tech we use can be very helpful. So this template provides the framework for documenting all of the technology that you you use at your company. So then you don't need anyone to explain this to your new hires. You can just set this up once and then the people you hire will be able to view this forever. So click preview right there. And now if you want to use this template so you can see it right here, the systems we use, devices we use. So you can explain the printer, scanner, the Wi-Fi. So you can just enter the Wi-Fi name and password, etc. So you can click add template right here and they can either add it to company or policies. Now this falls under company. Then you can assign an owner. I'll assign this one to me and then click add template. Now I'll show you how you can invite your team members in a minute, but first you want to go and set this up. So you can see how long it takes to read this. And for now it's just a draft. Now what you want to do first is click on the drop down right here and then you can see the step right here and you can add new steps. 
Now if you want to edit this tab, just click on the three dots and click edit. And now here go and customize it. So you can see the template right here. So it just has a little bit of text. Now you can simply go and customize this. And once you click next topic, it will take you directly to the systems you use. And now you just want to go and customize this as well. So you can simply upload your own logo right here. So you can delete this one and then just add in your own logo right here in the top under insert. So it's pretty simple. And this is a very basic sort of document editor. Now here you can see that right now you use Trainual, Slack, Google Drive, Zoom and Asana. If you want to remove of these, just click on the three dots and click delete. And if you want to add a new one, just click new step, then name the software. So for example, if you use MailChimp, they want to enter MailChimp right there and then just kind of explain what you do with it and what you want your employees to use it for. So this is all pretty basic and simple, but it can save you a lot of time if you are, for example, hiring 10 employees per year and it takes a couple of hours per employee to kind of teach them what they need to know about these softwares and how you run your business basically and what you want them to do. Then that will take a bunch of time and if you just set this up correctly once, then you don't have to do that every single time. So now once you're done with the actual subject, we can go ahead and publish it by clicking on publish right here. And now you want to set all of these to finished. So then click finish all and publish. And now we have published our first subject. So now when we go to the home screen right here, under to do, you can see this right here. So now when you go ahead and invite a team member, right here they will see a to-do list. So first they can follow the tech we use. Now you can see it's about a nine minute read. And you can see if it is required for this person and they can simply click start and follow this list right here. Now what we're going to do next is create groups. So you can create a role chart right here or groups. I'm going to click groups right here and now you want to first create a group. So select a group type. You can either do it by roles such as sales rep or by team, department, location or other. I'll say department and let's say I want to name this one marketing. Then I'll add marketing right here. Now click create. So now you have created this marketing group. Now you want to add responsibilities to this marketing group. So here you have some suggestions. For example, if they need to make routine social media posts, they can add that in. If they need to plan, execute and track marketing campaigns such as email. So these are just some suggestions, but you can simply type them yourself as well and then click save. Now what we are going to do next after we've created one of these groups is actually invite our team members. So click invite your team right here. And now here you can either add them individually, bulk add via a CSV file, or auto add via an HR tool. I will add individually. In order to add a user, you want to enter their full name, their work email, and optionally also their job title and phone number, and then their permission level. So you have a bunch of levels right here, and you can see what each of these can kind of do. Now you can send the invite now, later, or scheduled, and then simply click on add, and they will get an email where they can actually accept the invite, create their train new account, and then they will see your dashboard as well. Now under advanced right here, you can select a group to add them to. So if you're inviting your marketing team, then you can set the group right here to marketing, and if they need to report to a specific person you can choose that person right here now for now i only have added myself so it is recommended to first add in all of your managers and people who have people working under them so that once you add those people you can set reports to and then to that manager so now once you click add the invite will be sent and they can join your team right here now if you want to use this for onboarding for example what you want to do is just go ahead and create a bunch of these right here, all of them you need. So go to content and click create subject. Now give the subject a name. So if you want to teach something about communication or how you do meetings and stuff like that, then just give that name to the subject. Then what kind of training is this? So company policies or processes, I'll set this one to company and click create. Now you can enter a topic title right here. So this is basically a subgroup inside of your subject. So for example, if this one is meetings inside of communication then you want to type meetings and click create so now here you can just write out the task and kind of what you expect of the people that you want this to be read by so if you are doing this for onboarding how often you have meetings and kind of your meeting policies etc you also have an ai feature where they help you auto compose this where they help you auto compose it for you so this can also save you some time or you can use the smart outline feature which is also using ai so if you simply want to add something quickly you can just click on plus in the top right they can invite the teammate create a new group so this can be a department or a role for example or you can create a new subject or add a template 
or import a document. So if I click add template, you can see they have a bunch more templates right here. As you can see, they have 398 templates that you can choose from. So for example, this one right here is the most popular since it's currently sorted by popularity. So this is welcome to your company. And this welcome to the company template provides an outline to help you introduce your new employees to your company, mission, values, team members, and more. So I quite like this one. And you can see also what it's filtered by. So these ones are for onboarding, they have for getting started, tools, departments, onboarding, etc. So for example, if I want to use this one, just click preview, then you can kind of see what it is. So you can see what's included, how to use this template disclaimer, and then right here is the actual template. So welcome, origin story, etc. So you can just go and customize this and click add template right here, then give it a name, add it to something right here, etc. So I think Trainual is a great tool for onboarding since this kind of automates the process and you don't need somebody that sets up every single employee and explains every single thing you can just have it set up in train you all right here and you can make sure that it is done correctly every single time because you can just set it up yourself and this should take a couple of days to set up once and then once you've got it set up and fully functioning you just know that, that the onboarding works perfectly and that when you hire new employees you don't waste any time in getting them set up you can just invite them right here by clicking on plus then click invite teammate and you can also set an employee to be able to do this so that they can actually invite your new employees and then they can just follow this to-do list right here so again you can use the link down in the description to get a seven day completely free trial no credit card required and just get started setting this up and then after that you need to pick one of their plans so the small growth or unlimited plan if you want the unlimited plan you need to talk to their sales teams so again it starts at 250 dollars per month which i think is a pretty good price and you get 20 percent off when you pay yearly and monthly it's 300 dollars per month so now you know how to use trainio for onboarding your employees setting up systems and actually adding tasks to specific departments and groups so if this trainio tutorial was helpful please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel with that being said, I will see you in the next video.